It's hot. You be strong here. It's real hot. Whew. We are in San Pedro in Belize on the island of Ambergris Key. And uh, yeah, we're gonna spend the day exploring. We're gonna go have breakfast. We're gonna rent a. Am I sweating? <laughs> it's so hot already. We're gonna have breakfast. We're gonna go um, rent a golf cart, which is like how you get around. And we're gonna explore. So thought I'd take you along with us. Here we go. My first little fry jacks here. Mm -hmm. They look like. I don't know what they look like. Oh, like, oh, she's oh, soft. Nice. We're in a golf cart. It's hot. We're on an adventure. Well, we rented this golf cart. I forgot my microphone. And now we're heading towards what's supposed to be like some Mayan ruins. I don't know if you can hear that, but there is so much construction on this island. It looks like they're preparing for a, a whole lot more tourists um, but it's actually a really nice road for the most part I mean not the road itself is not nice the road is made of dirt and concrete and there it's bumpy as anything but on the left side is all like different beaches and like beach hotels and stuff and yeah let's go see if we can see some Mayan ruins that haven't really been excavated so it's supposed to be like very I don't know untouched here we go well, we found the site. There's a little sign that says Maya site. Maya site. But it unfortunately is closed. As in like, it seems like they don't have any more funding to be doing any work here. All the things are boarded up. So I don't think we can go down there. Massive bummer. It actually says it only closed as of July 1st, 2019. So we've missed it by a month. Um, maybe it'll reopen something to ask around if you're coming to the island um, to find more up, out about it. If it does reopen, it's open from 8.30 a.m. until 4 p.m. Monday to Saturday. Closed on Sundays. What day is it today? off we're gonna stop on a couple of different beaches on the way back there's just literally no one along this road now just these private little, private little spaces with no people lots of hotels being built We're on Secret Beach. It's outrageously beautiful. It's so beautiful. Just sitting on a bench in the sea, literally in the ocean. Well, is it the ocean? Is it the Caribbean Sea? We're on like the uh, west side of... More construction noise? No, that's a boat. Why? What's all this noise? We're on the west side of the North Island of Ambergris Key. It's very difficult to say the names of this place. And uh, yeah, Secret Beach. It took us a while to get here. You definitely need to have a golf cart. And uh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Definitely come. I always get to the end of editing these videos and realize that I have left out so much information. <laughs> um, but we rented the golf carts for 50 US dollars for the whole day. Um, we took the golf cart to Secret Beach. We pretty much went all the way to Secret Beach and all the way down to where the Maya site is. So we went the length of the island. Um, if you're starting in San Pedro, it's about an hour to the southern tip. 
And then to get to Secret Beach, it's just over an hour because you've got paved road up until the turn off. And then when you turn off to Secret Beach, it's about 20 minutes on like an unpaved, like rocky little road. In order to rent a golf cart, you need to have a license. <laughs> um, it's like renting a car, they take it seriously. We were like pulled over and, and had like our, our license and everything checked at one point when we were heading towards Secret Beach. Um, you should not, at, in, for any reason, drink and drive on a golf cart. There are police breathalyzing. You're on a road in, in and out of San Pedro where there are real cars. <laughs> um, so it's, it's no joke, like it, um, it really is like a fully functioning road and island and your golf carts can go pretty quick. Um, so definitely, you know, take it seriously when you're behind the wheel, it's, it's you're on the road with other cars. There aren't many um, street lights, especially on the way to Secret Beach. So although it's actually a really beautiful place for the sunset, um, you don't want to stay too late because getting back on that road, it's it could be super, super dark. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. San Pedro is really beautiful. I've got another video coming for you tomorrow about um, some of the boat trips that we took and some of the fascinating um, evening activities. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and had a little peek into what there is to do on San Pedro in Amber Gris Key. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, really supports my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye!